Okay, so the moment you've been waiting for to deal with copycat. Right, these are called data sets. All these little things. Right, in this case, we have 11 data sets on this side, 11 data sets on this side for it. All right, it's pretty simple and self explanatory that all they are is what we want it to be, and this is what it came from. So if we A, B this, okay. And they have to be in the exact same order. That's very, very important. Okay, let's get a pen clip. And let's just go ahead and add it to this. All right, make sure our pen clip starts at the beginning of our comp, which is 001. All right, let's go ahead and copy this and bring it over here. Oops and put it in the exact same order. Now as a sanity check, I will bring in a merge on one side. And I will set it to difference just to make sure everything's lining up. Okay, so it's Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and eleven. Great. So that all works. Okay. So another thing about Copycat, while it while it's totally feasible for you to calculate this entire frame, we only want this thing. So let's just go ahead and crop it to that area. So Let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's check our first frame. Make sure we're still in there. Now we could animate it if we want, but this is such a slight move, we don't really need to animate. All right, and reformat. Okay. And then we gotta copy and paste this because what you do on one side has to be exact on the other. Okay, and then just for, again, sanity reason, let's go ahead and add a remove. And only keep RGB. Now you could just leave it at remove and remove the alpha, but this way you're safe. You know it's just RGB going in and out. And again, let's go ahead and copy and paste. All right. Now the big time, the main event, copycat. All right, ground truth and input. Now what's the difference? Well, ground truth is, think of it this way, that we look at this, this is what we want the new reality to be. Okay, this is we want the, what the truth needs to be in our comp, okay? This is what a lot of our comp is based off of, so it needs to look like this. This is our new reality, so this is the new truth. The input is where it started from, okay? So this is the original input, but that's not what we want it to be, okay? So we'll use this as the input. So you get your truth of what the new reality should be and where it started, okay? So we're not going to go through any of the settings yet. We'll do this on the next tutorial. But to set this up, let's go ahead and dump this cat file into our directory. Now, there will be a lot of files, OK? So let's go ahead and create, let's create a directory and call it copycat um, remove. Copycat track remove. You can name it whatever you want. That's what I'm calling it. There's no file format you have to worry about. You just want to select the folder. And at this point, all you have to do is hit start training. Okay, so while this is doing this, let's talk about what's going on here. Uh, go to the progression bar. This is a very important information. 
right? As you can notice, these little square things here, all right? Those are basically your crop sizes, okay? It's randomly selecting throughout this frame, you know, these little images. Now, the first line, column here is the starting point, okay? The next one is the ground truth, or what we want the new reality to be. And then the last is the output that it's doing. As you can see here, it's, this is where it started, this is where it needs to be, but it hasn't yet painted out the, uh, the, the marker. As it continues through, it'll go, keep going to those 11 frames back and forth. It'll work its way through one, the next, the next, and the next, then start over again, do it again, then do it again, until it figures out what you want it to be. So eventually, it'll look at this starting point, the ground truth of what the new reality should be, and then go, oh, that's what you want, and then start outputting that information here. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. So this is going to take a while, about 20 minutes, as you see on the default settings, and then uh, we'll come back. And I'll explain a lot about this a little bit more, and I'll describe what all this stuff is here, uh, most likely on the next project, because that's where it actually is actually going to mean something. I just wanted to get you into this, get comfortable with using Copycat, getting the procedure and the concept down before we started to inundate you with all this extra information. Now that it's done completing its learning, let's go ahead and bring it in. All right, all you have to do is come over to Copycat, hit this Create Inference, and that's it. So the next stage, we're going to take this inference and apply it to our footage. 